All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory here on Update 8. As I was saying, in between episodes, I did a few things. As you'll notice over there, there are some more biomass burners, which we are going to need for our future power. I also crafted us a bunch of reinforced iron plates so that we can expand our lawn factory here. Another thing I did while off camera is I switched this from iron plates to iron rods because I'm going to need all this extra space over here to set up our screw production. So this one now does iron plates instead. I also set up the third iron node as a secondary iron plate line so that'll be great. And over here I set up the second limestone node to produce us some more concrete. I think that about covers everything I did. I also ran around a little bit, gathered some more leaves and whatnot for biomass, but that's not very exciting, so barely worth mentioning. All right, now that I've got the extra power production, I've got all the extra iron reinforced iron plates that we need. The first thing I think we're gonna do is we're gonna expand our iron rod line here and start producing screws. So first thing is first. Which side do I want to build this on? Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do the iron plates over on this side, so I think we're going to have to go over here. Which means some of these power poles might have to move. But for now, let us start here. So, let us build a second constructor. Or, I mean, second smelter. And we're also going to need a splitter here. So we're going to split this line. And we're going to come hook... Oh, yep. You know, I'm willing to suspend my disbelief on a lot of things, but that is not one of them. So let us rehook this all back up. Literally just killed my entire production line there for that. <laughs> That's fine. Everything's fine. All right, we got all those hooked back up. So... We now have this coming off here, so like I said last episode, this only requires 30 ore a minute, but we are producing 60 ore a minute, so we can split this off into a secondary line, also producing iron ingots. And we will, how do we want to hook this up? I think I'm going to add a, oh, I already have a power pole here, so I guess I can hook you up to that. Alright, and then we will do a second smell uh, constructor. Actually, I might have screwed myself here. I think I do actually need more room. Because, if you guys will recall, that the iron rods only need 15 iron ingots a minute. So I can actually split the smelters off into... the production from the smelters off into two as well. So I can have a total of four constructors side by side here. Which I'm not really sure I'm going to have enough room for, but we'll see what we can do. So we'll throw one down right here. And, uh, like I said last time, this is all very temporary, so it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to function. It's going to need some power for you, and I think I will have to set up another power pole somewhere. I will connect you to there. You are connected to there. Very good. Set this up to do more iron rods. Be good to go. Why are you not? What are you, why why are you not functioning? Are you not connected to anything? You are not connected to anything. Okay, that is where I messed up. Let's fix that real quick. Which means I was right. Really screwed up my power situation here. What we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to do this real quick. up to that, you hooked up to that, 
Disconnect you from there. Hook you up to there. Alrighty, now everything's back to being hunky dory except for you. Who can connect to that now? Alright. Although I might have to move this pole again just for convenience sake and aesthetics. Alright, so these two constructors here, they're gonna be. I can merge these lines back together now. So we will do that. Actually, let's go right here to a merger. Throw this on here, throw this on here. And now all the rods coming out of here. Since we're only making 15 a minute, I can definitely throw them into the same line and they will all go into this one bin and everything is hunky-dory. Now, here is where I might have screwed up. I do not know if I have enough room for what I need to do here. I need to set two constructors side by side. I mean, I could always make the... You can always just do them down this way a little further. It doesn't, doesn't have to be perfectly in line with the other ones. So I'll just throw those over there. To grab you, and we'll have you go into that one. Split you off here. Have you go into that one. If you can use your own power pole. Bingo bango. Set these up for iron rods also. And Bob is your uncle. So... Now, to make screws, we're going to need to do another line of constructors here. Let me see. I actually don't remember. It needs 10 a minute. Okay, so that's actually convenient. That means these two... Actually, this tree is kind of in a bad spot. Also, this is kind of in a not great spot either. Yeah. I wanted to put these over here just because it was nice and I had a lot of room, but now I got all these stupid trees in the way. But we'll we'll make do with what we got here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So there are our three constructors that will be making screws for us. Well, let's get those set up, and then we will get ourselves a storage bin. Oh, actually, wait a minute. 40, ooh, 40, 40, so 40, 40, and 40 equals 120, which is kind of a problem because the tier one belts can only take 60 units of product a minute here. So what we're actually gonna have to do is we're gonna do something a little, a little funky here. So this gets its own container, this gets its own container, but this one here, is actually going to split off Close enough. Let's split that off send those down there and then what we want to do is we're going to do a merger merge that that can go into there that can go into there and then voila, each one of these is now getting 60 screws a minute. Oh god, this is incredibly ugly. Please do not look at this. I am ashamed that I have created it. <laughs> also, you guys are going to need power. So let's see, where am I going to hook you up to? Do you have room for another? Yep. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Now we have to split these guys off into their respective lines as well. So I think we have to do the same thing here. So you can go into that one. You can go into that one. I'm going to have to build a merger for this one. Hopefully this tree doesn't screw us too badly. We'll merge that into there, and then it, that actually might be a little too close. Hang on a minute. 
Hang on a minute. We gotta fix this real quick. All right. So we'll do the merger up here instead, and then over here we'll do a splitter. So, uh, crap on a stick. Crap on a stick. Yeah. Hmm. Might have to redo this belt a little bit here. So, I'm gonna make you come out over here. And then turn in that way so you have a less steep angle. And hopefully that'll be good enough. Yeah, there we go. Split this one off. And that is also all hooked up, I think. Yep. I think we've got everything sorted. Oh, no, no, we don't. There we go. And now this should be working at peak efficiency. If I did my math correctly, which I am not entirely sure that I did. But in my head, it all makes sense. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this for a minute. All right, yeah, you're working at 100%. You're working at 100%. You are working at 100%, so I believe we have done it. So now we are automating screws. So oops, let's jump up here real quick. So everything looks ugly, but it is functional. All right, so that is that all taken care of. And now we will go expand our iron plate production real quick. Alright. Want a splitter. Actually, let me set up the smelter real quick first. We will do the smelter first. Stupid rocks. Stupid rocks! Alright, smelter, iron ingots. You do not have enough. You have one position left on you. Alright. So I think we're going to do this, throw you down here, connect you to there, connect you to there, connect you to there, split you off, there we go, we will set up a, another constructor, Get you making iron plates, and then we are going to merge you back into here. There we go. So we need to power you. Yeah, so that is all taken care of. All right, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this one, but I'll do that off camera. The other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick well, actually, not real quick. The other thing that I did want to show you was the copper wire into cable production. So it's kind of similar to how we did the screws, but it's not nearly going to be as janky with all of the splitters and whatnot. It's going to be much more straightforward. But we do want to leave ourselves a little bit of room so we don't kind of screw ourselves like we did with our iron rod production. So I'm going to put that over there. Then we're gonna set this up for iron ingots. I'm gonna get our splitter. Split that off there. Those are all right. That is actually full, so I will do this instead. It's not the ideal way to set this up, but it'll have to work. Do that. Worry about another power pole in a minute. So we'll get a constructor. Another constructor. Set you up for a copper cable. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, 15 ingots, yeah. All right, I am in fact doing this correctly. Get you hooked into there. We will split you off into there. You up there. 
there, and we will connect you to there. So now these are all making copper cable for us. We can do one more over here as well. Oh, I mean uh, copper wire, I was calling it copper cable. Well, I mean, I guess technically it is a copper cable, but we're not quite there yet. Split this off, put you into there. Get you a shit. All right, all fixed. And then these can get connected back into here. Alrighty, and then the last little bit we're gonna be making the copper cables. So what do we need to make copper cables? So constructor. So to make the cables we need, actually let me we'll just pull up the recipe. We need 60 wire a minute to make 30 cable a minute. Okay, that seems simple enough, right? Because we're making 30 in here and 30 in here so it can combine the outputs of these together to have one line of cables being made so throw that into there put a merger throw you into there get you set up to make cables hook you up to power somewhere all right and then we'll throw down a bin and then we're all set and I'm missing iron plates, all right. Take all those. Hmm. All right, there we go. So now we are now automating cables and screws and that'll help us up with our next milestone here where we need 100 cables and 500 screws. So let's go check on how many screws we've made at this point. Real quick. Oh, actually we've got plenty of screws. This one's got 400, that means this one has 400. So we've got enough screws. I think we have enough cable. Uh, let's go find out. How much cable do we have? No, we only have 70 cable, so soon enough though, we'll have enough cable. Yep, we're almost there. Just three more cable and we'll have the amount of cable we need and we have more than enough concrete so we can do our next milestone right now. Man, I thought I was going to have to uh, do a time lapse or just uh, cut for a minute while I waited for this to build up, but we finished at the perfect time yet again. I really, really wish that was on purpose because that would be way cooler. But anyways, let's go put these into the machine and we will send off our drone and then we will now unlock our obstacle clearing. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. All right, thank you very much, Ada. Actually, it's so much power we're using. Ooh. Also, this was also a coincidence, I swear to God. So we're making just enough power to cover all of our consumption. All right, so we wanna make a chainsaw. So what do we need for a chainsaw? So we have everything except for cables. So we'll just handcraft some cables real quick because we're right here. And then we will make ourselves a chainsaw. A Little more than what we needed, but that's fine. Oh, 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 oh. We now have a chainsaw. Oh yeah. So let me show this bad boy off. Also, I need I need uh, fuel for it real quick. So we're gonna have to handcraft ourselves some solid biofuel. Just for a moment. Also, handcrafting this takes forever. So actually, our next big goal is to, uh, like I said, uh, not automate, but we can semi-automate the manufacturing of solid biofuel. So we're gonna do that. Let me just craft some up real quick. 
and then I will show you what this bad boy does to trees. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. It, it also ha it has like an AOE effect. It also grab other foliage nearby too. So, oh, it's very satisfying. All right, now that I've got the chainsaw, I think I am gonna pause the video and I'm gonna run around. I'm going to collect a bunch of leaves and wood so we can start with our solid biofuel production. So. I shall return after I've deforested half the planet. Be right back. Here is a before screenshot of the forest I demolished. And this is the after photo. Please don't at me tree huggers. All right, and we're back. So I collected a bunch of leaves and a bunch of wood. And I've sorted them into these two bins here. So we've got one, two, three, four, four and a half thousand leaves and a couple thousand wood right there. So now we're gonna turn these into biomass. So to do that, we're gonna build a couple constructors here. So I'm gonna take one of those, I'm gonna feed it into there and we're going to make biomass out of wood. So 60 wood a minute turns into 300 biomass per minute, but there's a big problem here. Our belt can only handle 60 a minute, so this is going to be very inefficient as far as uh, productivity goes, unfortunately, but it, it'll it just have to be what it is. Now next here, we're gonna build another one. And this is gonna go here. I'm gonna connect you up, and you're gonna make biomass out of leaves. So this one needs 120 leaves per minute to make 60 biomass. So neither neither one of these is going to be completely efficient. However, if we run over here real quick, there is something we can unlock. Logistics Mark, Mark II, which gets, gets us uh, the conveyor belt Mark II, which will be a big help because the conveyor belt Mark II can move 120 uh, units per minute, or per second rather. So that'll be a big, uh, or is that per minute? Yeah, no, I think it's per minute. Yeah, per minute. So that'll be a big help. Um, so that'll be the next thing we unlock. So unfortunately, the lawn factory will exist for a little while longer. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, unfortunately, we don't have nearly the reinforced iron plates that are required to unlock this yet so I'm gonna actually handcraft those off camera at some point but let us get this set up now even if it's not perfectly uh, efficient all right so so this is gonna be making biomass this is gonna be making biomass and then we're going to take them out of there into a storage container and then you into another storage container. Like so, like so. And then we will use a yet third constructor. Oh, I need some more cables, hang on a minute. Let us make some more cables real fast here. Then we are going to put them in a constructor. Let's see, I'm actually gonna... I need enough room so I can throw down another bin. Um, what if I did this like... Hmm, I didn't really think this through very well, did I? Hmm, here, actually, what I'll do is I'll put it over here. I'll just have the I'll just have the conveyor belt swing around. All right, so we want this to make solid biofuel. So this takes 120 biomass per minute and turns it into 60 biofuel, solid biofuel a minute. All right, so then we will have yet another storage container connected to here. And that will be our biomass semi-automated. So we just have to keep throwing leaves and wood into these two machines. 
and then they will take they will create biomass for us and then that biomass will get shifted over into this constructor which will make solid biofuel for us all right now where am i going to where am I gonna connect you? Do I have an empty connection spot anywhere? Oh, actually right here, nice. Connect you to you, connect you to you, connect you to you, and connect you to you. I... Oh, that's right, I forgot the power trip. All right, so right at this point, I cut out about three or four minutes of me derping around with the power because I am not a smart man. But yeah, actually, since I have this now and I can show you guys, so let me just take this real quick. So right now, this thing is burning 6.6 .6 a minute. With this, it is now, it is burning 2.6 a minute, which is much, much more efficient. So... Once we get all of our machines running on the solid biofuel, it'll be a big, big help. Alright, so there's our janky, semi-automated biofuel production. Alrighty. And with that, I think that's going to be have to be the end of the episode. While I am off camera, I'll make those reinforced iron plates. I'll get all the other materials required for the next milestone and then we will do logistics mark two in the next episode and after that once we have logistics mark two we can start saving up enough materials to unlock our milestone after that which is going to be base assembly so we can start laying down foundations and then we can turn our janky lawn factory into an actual factory so that'll be our next goal so we'll get the mark ii belts then we can get our biofuel going at a more productive rate and then we'll get our foundations going and then we'll turn this pile of mess into a beautiful and orderly factory but anyways guys that'll have to do and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching